I note that of the city's three key performance indicators agreed to in 2013-14 um, shareholder compact that ESCOM has only achieved 57.6% of the targets. Now this is not a good performance, even in the challenging environment in which the entity operates. I note in particular the unsatisfactory performance in respect of generation plant performance and the socio-economic footprint, both of which are very concerning. At the last AGM, my predecessor urged the board to ensure that efforts to improve generation performance and reduce the level of unplanned outages were intensified. It is concerning, therefore, that even with support from my department, generation performance continues to de deteriorate. I'm mindful of the pressure of the daily balancing act of keeping the lights on and maintaining appropriate electricity generation plant health. However, we need to raise our gaze above the horizon and do something extraordinary. Growth depends on it, investor confidence depends on it, jobs depend on it. We are equally concerned about the delay in the commissioning of the Madupi and Kusile power stations, which would by now have provided power to the national grid, particularly in the case of Madupi power station. The delay has added an extra burden on the already constrained power system. This is having a negative impact on the country. I have in this regard instructed the board to give me a thorough report on the extent of the delay and new completion timelines of the capital expansion projects as a matter of urgency. The silver lining is the promise of the first synchronization of Madupi Unit 6 in December 2014, following the successful factory acceptance tests conducted and other milestones in May 2014. The board and management must ensure that lessons learned from Medupi Unit 6 are used to inform the delivery schedules and cost of the subsequent Medupi units and that of Kusile.